Hi, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Import Pro tool for eShop to uh, export and import products. So let's log into the website first. Uh, having logged in, uh, we head first to eShop itself because we need to uh, export the products from the web shop. So go to System and Export select the products and then simply click process and uh, we're going to save it uh, on our computer I'll just call it test one for now and now it has uh, downloaded for me so I'll open it up and here is uh, a spreadsheet of all the products on the web shop. Now, our first step is to uh, edit this so that we can import it again. All we have to do is click File, Save As, select the folder where you want it to be, and change it from CSV to Excel, XLS. Excel 97 2003 and click Save. Then after this you can uh, make changes as you want to. to uh, you can see the product SKUs in here, uh, the product names uh, and uh, if you scroll along you'll see, you'll see the uh, product description inside code and uh, over here is a product weight and over here is a product price so you can then go and change the prices that you want for each product uh, and uh, when you're happy with it just uh, save it to your computer and then I'll show you how to update it go to eShop Import Pro choose the file from your computer Here it is, the XLS file, and then click Process Import. It will then update every product that uh, is in the in the list. And when it has uh, completed, it will show you a report letting you know what has happened. So it says it's updated 517 products and updated the categories accordingly. So um, you can. You don't have to necessarily upload a whole list of products, so you could perhaps just remove those entries you don't want to to repeat for now, uh, and just work on the, the top three here. But you might as well keep them all here in the in the spreadsheet and edit the ones you want. You can add new products at the bottom of the the spreadsheet and just follow follow the pattern in regards to adding the the language. Uh, adding a number, adding the SKU and the description and so on. But you might as well also just uh, add the products manually in the in the web shop unless you're going to actually add a whole lot of new products. So uh, I hope this helps. Um, the only thing to take note of with this system is it doesn't actually give you an option to delete products this way. So if you want to delete products you have to actually manually go in and delete the products you want to remove. But at least this way you can update the prices for products and upload it and see it changed in an instant.